All right, strapping for a longer ride through the Hawkins of my romantic misadventures. So let's rewind to the Nancy era. Sparks flew, motions ran high, and for a moment, it felt like I stumbled upon a Hawkins fairy tale. But you know how fairy tales go? Turns out, I was more a supporting character in Nancy's story than the leading man. Heartbreak is a tricky beast, and I uh, found myself grappling with it after the Nancy chapter closed. Yet, in the depths of Hawkins' high drama, a new character stepped into the scene, Robin. She was a different kind of puzzle, scoops ahoy and formidable. We laughed, shared secrets, and for a moment, it seemed like the upside down of relationships was behind me. But little did I know. The Hawkins love triangle had more turns than a maze in the upside down. For Robin and I, we were like a pair of Misfit puzzle pieces trying to fit together in a world that seemed dead set on keeping us apart. The real demagogue in this scenario was the realization that our connection wasn't the romantic masterpiece I envisioned. Now here's where the heartache hits a nostalgic note. As much as I tried to move on, there was a lingering ember from the Nancy days. Call it teenage sentimentality or just the plain old Hawkins curse. I couldn't shake the feeling that maybe, just maybe, there was unfinished business. In the quiet moments between Scoops Ahoy shifts and monster slaying escapades, my mind would drift back to Nancy, the girl with the camera, the one who saw something in me when I was just the stereotypical high school bad boy. The idea of a family, a uh, cozy Hawkins home with a white picket fence. It all started to crystallize around the image of Nancy. But life, it seems, enjoys throwing curveballs when you least expect it. The more I tried to convince myself that I could move on, the stronger the pullback to Nancy became. It wasn't just about lost love. It was about the dream of a future that slipped through my fingers like grains of sand. In the midst of Hawkins' supernatural chaos, my heart was haunted by the ghost of relationships past. Robin, in her own way, was a beacon of light in the dark caverns of my love life, but the heart wants what it wants, and mine seemed fixated on a particular redhead with a camera. It's funny, you know, Hawkins is this small town where everyone's connected, yet relationships feel like, like navigating the treacherous terrain of the Upside Down. You think you're on solid ground, and then, whoosh, the floor drops from beneath your feet. So here I am, the Steve Harrington of Love's Labyrinth, tangled in a web of emotions that uh, refuse to follow the script. Robin, she's a fantastic chapter in my Hawkins saga, but the pages still echo with the untold stories of what could have been with Nancy. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not some hopeless romantic stuck in a time loop. Life in Hawkins has taught me to roll with the punches, even if those punches come in the form of heartache. But somewhere in the depths of my scoops a hoist soul, there's a quiet desire for closure, for a chance to revisit the past, and maybe, just maybe, rewrite the script. I've battled demogorgons, faced interdimensional challenges, and survived Hawkins' upside down roller coaster. Yet the battlefield of love with its twists and turns, remains my toughest opponent. As I navigate this maze of emotions, one thing becomes clear. So Nancy holds a special place in my heart. It's not just about rekindling an old flame. It's about the possibility of building something beyond Hawkins high dramas. A family, a home, a love story that defies the odds. It's the dream that lingers refusing to be extinguished. In the midst of all this emotional turbulence, the Scoops Ahoy hat stays perched, a silent witness to the roller coaster ride of love in Hawkins. The battles may be otherworldly, but the heart's desires are remarkably human. So as the Hawkins sun sets and the, uh, the monsters retreat into the shadows, the narrative of Steve Harrington's love story remains open-ended. Will the next chapter be a reunion with Nancy, a surprising twist with Robin, or an unexpected encounter that reshapes the entire script? Only time will tell in this ongoing saga of love, monsters, and the unpredictable charm of Hawkins, Indiana.